Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Eliza and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode Skyblock. In the last episode, we were working, I believe we were doing a lot of work with Thumbcraft, uh, specifically trying to get automated alchemy and automated um, crucible uh, all taken care of. And as you can see, I've added in um, balance shards as another recipe to do. Uh, and I've been burning up some stuff, um, kind of in preparation for today. So, um, a little bit of kind of where are we at? Well, currently we are working on getting, um, we need to get a ton of mushrooms, slime, gas tears, um, in order to get a bunch of Galgadorian metal. So if we look at like, how much of this do we need? in order to get our first creative energy cell. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four. Uh, that is 28 blocks. So let's just see how bad that is to make. Um, all right, so for that we would need a ton more diamonds, um, ton more obsidian, um, 13K slime balls, just this is a lot of stuff um surprisingly we don't quite have the sugar uh we don't have anything except for the iron we have enough iron to make that um so that gives you an idea of just how bad it is to make this stuff um the galgadorian metals are just really insane to make and that's that's what we're working on so um with that side of it taken care of, uh, the other thing we need to do is Thomcraft and some witchery stuff and a little bit more blood magic. Uh, I bl And Batania, actually. We need to do all the magic stuff uh, in order to get enough stuff for the Everlasting Guilty Pool. So we have all the runes, I believe. Um, let's see, I want to make sure we have all the runes. Yes, we do have all the runes. Um, the slates are not too bad. We don't have all of them, um, but we can start working towards getting all of them. Uh, one of the big things with that is we're gonna need beacons and that kind of stuff, but that's not really that bad. We need Gaia Spirit ingots, which means we have to kill the Gaia Guardian. Um, we have the Null Catalyst. Um, we're going to need uh, Crystal cluster Clusters, which is from the Demons. Uh, in the, the, that mod, uh, Blood Magic, and that's going to take a while, um, plus Primordial Pearls, which means we have to go to an Outer Lands dungeon and defeat that. Uh, so quite a bit still left to do, uh, but then the big thing that is what I kind of want to start working towards today is the Iker, uh, let's see, it is called Ikorium Adorn Iker Cloth Strap Silverwood Wand. Um, so in other words, we need this Iker Cloth Strap Silver Wood Wand, and in order to get this, we need to scan an Angry Zombie and a couple more researches um, so that we can basically get access to that. Uh, now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find an Angry Zombie. Uh, that is not the easiest thing for us to do at this point, and I, I really am scratching my head at, like, how. Um, they do have a chance to spawn from Dark Rooms, it is a better chance from um, magical biomes, so yeah, I don't know if we can do that yet. Um, but so we're just basically waiting for the research on that. So what's the plan for today? Well, first of all, I want to talk about what I did between episodes. Um, so one thing that I did between episodes is teach the system how to make colonnade generators. We also were running out of power for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it was because of the spawner. Uh, the auto spawner kind of drained all of our power because we shouldn't have to like deal with all that kind of stuff really so um, we should be good on power for now uh, yeah that looks like it's gonna be great and yeah that that's pretty much it on that um, oh I was like what is that re weird red block and it, it it's a uh, the wires. Alright, so um, ran out of power, made some more crafting recipes. I taught the system how to make 
uh, balance shards and something we should probably do is teach the system how to make Salus Mundus, which it already does. All right, never mind then. Um, so today we're gonna work on a little bit of uh, Thomcraft, but then I wanna do a little bit of witchery. And the reason being is um, it's one of the achievements that we still have to do. Uh, and it's not that difficult. Uh, at least it shouldn't be. Uh, and it's just something that we haven't done yet. So it's the tombstone. Uh, and other than that, um, we're going to work on a little bit of uh, tech stuff and a little bit of not tech stuff. So uh, just a little bit of everything. We're going to jump around a little bit today. So first thing I want to do is I want to make the arcane bellows. Uh, now these are going to allow us to make more, uh, basically get more uh, speed into our... Uh, Alchemical Furnace is what it's called. It's going to allow us to get more speed into that uh, as we go. So we need leather. Oh, I forgot about that part. Uh, leather comes from... We can get it from Rotten Flesh, which we have plenty of. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here. Uh, I am making a ton of mana. These guys are full of soy milk and extreme chili. And so we're just going to throw in and get a bunch of leather. Uh, this guy is pretty much full and I'm not really using him right now so uh, we could make some terra steel which might not be a bad idea uh, but let's go ahead and make two of these. Uh, mana tide bellows. I don't know exactly what they're used for um, but uh, we'll use those in here to get arcane bellows and let's make sure we have our good armor on and there we go so one of the things that I want to start working towards is um, basically we need to get some nodes and uh, once we get nodes we can then kind of have uh, probably over here an automatic like charging of the nodes and stuff like that uh, not nodes of the wands and then um, also try to work towards getting like uh, automatic charging of the wand that we'll have in the arcane crafting table and that kind of stuff so uh, important things but things that we need to kind of work towards um, I don't know I don't know how these are supposed to set But let's see if it probably doesn't help. Uh, does it have to be facing? It's not going to go the other way, is it? Uh, does that seem slow? Or if we click it like so? I don't know which way these go, but we're going to put them like that and see if that helps make this go any faster. So uh, I'm basically getting a bunch of things, kind of uh, a bunch of Ascension in here. And one of the things that I need to do is make more ME uh, storage cells. Uh, but one thing that I want to make, which this is a little bit of a uh, aside, um, I want to make this ME port. So we need another ME drive. So that should take just a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad to make. Uh, and you know what? How bad would it be to make some Essentia drives? Uh, storage. So other than these take research aspects, uh, what do they require? Logic and calculation. So we have a bunch of logic. We have a bunch of calculation presses or uh, circuits already. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of uh, Essentia drives. And we have a bunch of these guys. I don't really care too much about most of these. Um, the only one I really care about is the Aurum because uh, that's the best thing to get Aurum from. Uh, it gives you four for each. 
so it's really nice to have. Um, scan something with... I, I know for something we need to get, uh, we need to scan something that has taint. Uh, so we might want to look at uh, the ethereal essence. And isn't there one that has taint? Yeah, vitrium. So I don't know if... We can't scan it anymore anyways. Uh, that's, that's a bummer. So I, in order to make the saplings that I want, so kind of going back to what we're going to be doing today uh, is working towards getting great wood saplings and then silver wood saplings. Now the great wood saplings aren't too bad. Uh, we need to get cinder pearls and uh, shimmer leaf, uh, which neither of those are terribly difficult. Uh, however, um, in order to get the silverwood saplings, we need to get ethereal blooms. Now those in themselves are not too bad to make. Um, the problem is that we don't have the research for them. So we need to get the research for them. Uh, and in order to do that, I've read that it's you have to scan a uh, shimmer leaf, which hopefully that's it. And then you also have to scan something with uh, vitrium, aka taint. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but hopefully it's not. Anyways, let's try to get some uh, Essentia Drives. Don't want to use Pure, don't want to use Charge, so let's just get some Surgis Quartz, some Normal, and two, three, two, three, one, two, three. All right, that should be good enough for now. And then with these, one, two, three, perfect. Um, now the question is, can we make the ME4? No, we are missing warded glass, which is not fun to do. Uh, can we get some warded glass? Okay, we can get some warded glass. Uh, maybe? Oh, we are out of V. Never mind. Alright, so... Um, Actually, let's get that recipe back. And what we're gonna do is, uh, let's just come over here and we're gonna get some blood for the blood altar, and that should charge our wand up. Hopefully enough. Um, and I've been trying to keep an eye out here to see if um, there's any angry zombies here. Haven't seen any yet. So that should be enough uh, to get what I need, and let's go ahead and do this. So um, something else I want to just mention briefly is I've looked at the runes of self-sacrifice, or runes of sacrifice, which would give us more blood for every kill. Um, this isn't terrible to do, um, but it does require a lot of dagger sacrifices, and that's a little expensive. Um, all of this is decently easy to get at this point. Um, and then it also requires a tier 3 slate, so uh, it requires a good bit of blood, but it will kind of pay off. So I might look into doing that in between episodes. Uh, so we get one recipe worth. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Let's throw this stuff in here. And one and two. Alright, so we'll put one of these guys in here. And then what I want to make is this ME port. Perfect. So what this is going to do for us is it's going to allow us to take all the Essentia off of this guy and put him on. Uh, so transfer direction to network. And that should have cleared out all of that. And we'll have whatever was like... Cognito was on it, and I believe uh, Tudman. So that's all we wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. And then what we can do is we can pop. Oh, we can't pop that one out. Um. All right, so that's kind of useless. We're just gonna throw it in there, and we can put that back. Uh, and let's grab our wand, and switch these guys. So, uh, with that all being taken care of, um. Essentia storage, rune sacrifice, bellows, talked about all this. All right, let's get to the meat of today's episode. And that is, we need to get a great wood sapling, which means we need uh, shimmer leaf. 
So we need poppies and some stuff. Uh, so do we have any poppies? We have eight. Let's go ahead and get four. And we'll just pop down here. And we're just going to put this in here. And switch this. And that will produce all of the poppies. Uh, it should, anyways. Um, and then what we can do is come back up to our system. Um, there is some shimmer leaf here. And I want to scan this. So is that going to give us the clue to the new research? Uh, which is ethereal blooms. Uh, should be under alchemy, and it's not there. All right, so... Bucket of Liquid Death. This would um, give us, let's see. I'm trying to think of what is going to have taint. What do I know that has taint? Uh, unfortunately, taint is one of those things that unless you have stuff that already has taint, it's kind of hard to come by. Um, but while we're kind of thinking about this stuff, uh, let's look at the Cinder Pearl. Cinder Pearl is the dandelions with some other stuff. So dandelions, we only have one of. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get some bone meal. We need to get some dirt. And uh, let's see. Or I guess we could just bone meal this area uh, and hope for the best. So let's break this torch. And there's a dandelion right away actually getting a decent number of dandelions right here uh, so this is just a nice simple way to get dandelions um, maybe eventually I'll make a nice big grass patch somewhere um, that's gated so we don't get animals going all over the place uh, even though I know gates don't really matter to them most of the time um, and we'll get four of these as well so we need to figure out something that might have taint. Um, the liquid death is something we could go ahead and make, uh, and I believe that would have taint. Uh, the catches, I don't know for sure. So let's put that in there, and there's the cinder pearls. Uh, I'll make those pretty quickly. Uh, and what we can do is while we're waiting, um, let's see, the liquid death. Uh, this stuff, I only want to make one bucket of it. And it is a bucket in a crucible with mortis, perdicio, and poison. Um, so, let's get some more magic, by the way. Because uh, we're going to need that for the silver wood. Um... Ender pearls are usually pretty good for magic. Uh, other things we can do is any of the normal shards, uh, blaze rods, blizz rods, all that kind of stuff is good. Witchery actually adds a lot of stuff that it's pretty good for magic. Um, and I think, hmm, I think the best thing to get for magic is going to be nether wart or ender pearls let's just get some ender pearls let's get a st stack and then we should have our cinder pearls let's go ahead and scan this cool um now i just need to get buckets and you know what, what i want to do real quick i want to tell this to make one, two, three, four, five, six more buckets. Because uh, we're going to need that for the uh, infusion. And we're going to need a jungle sapling. So let's go ahead and get all of that stuff taken care of. So the jungle sapling is going in the middle. We don't need extra of that. We'll get an extra little bit of um, the witch water. But everything else should be straightforward. So, um... We need Venom, Mortem, and Perdicio. So Perdicio is easy enough. Uh, we've already got that. Uh, Mortis we can get from Skulls or 
bones. And honestly, I have a bunch of uh, creeper heads that I'm not really using. Uh, and we can honestly go down to 16 of those. That should be enough. Uh, and then the last thing we need is the venom, the poison, and spider eyes or quicksilver. And I think I want to use quicksilver. Uh, oh, it's in a drawer. It's in a drawer, so we can't see that. All right, so we don't have much quicksilver. How do we get that, by the way? Uh, let's see. Quicksilver. I mean, we can get it from uh, Shimmer Leaf, which isn't bad, but Cinnabar Ore. And we're getting it from Sand. It's a very small chance. All right, well... Um, Spider eyes. We've got a good number of those, so let's go ahead and get like 16 of those. And once that cooks up, we'll get back to that. So in the meantime, uh, let's take a look at witchery. Um, so if we take a look at... Oh, uh, did I never make a circle magic book? Um, we have ritual chalk. We need to get a golden piece of chalk as well and let's just start looking at some witchery stuff uh so what i want to do with this is i want to go ahead and make the charge to tombstone uh, i don't know that we're going to use it all that much if at all um but it's something that we can get uh basically just get access to um pretty pretty quickly and that's going to give us another trophy and achievement and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's get a chest real quick. Um, this is going to be the chest of Thalmcraft stuff. And we'll put extras in there. Actually, we don't need extras. Uh, we can put the extras in here. And we'll keep that on us. Um, let's go get the seven buckets of witch water. And uh, we'll go from there. So... The uh, the witchery stuff is not too difficult to do. Um, we just kind of need to do it. And how much? Oh, that's full. Five, six, seven. All right, cool. So with that taken care of, um, it'll produce more witch water. Everything will be good. And yeah. Um, so all we have to really do with this uh, witchery stuff is make the charge of tombstone. We haven't really done any circle magic or anything like that with witchery, um, but as it turns out, this mod really doesn't require you to get heavy into witchery. Uh, at least I don't believe so. Um, we'll find out soon enough. So we need to make some golden chalk, so we need some more ritual chalk. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this. Uh, it should not be too difficult. We've done it before. It's just a matter of... It is Tear of the Goddess with Gypsum. Uh, do we have any Tear of the Goddess? No, we have Breath of the Goddess, which I believe we refine. Uh, let's see. With a piece of Lapis. So, easy enough. That'll do its thing. Um, we also need Gypsum, which is Quick Climb and Foul Fume. Foul Fumes. And Quick Climb. Wow, we have a lot of Knock Catalyst. Uh, is just wood ash. Alright, and then we're going to need a gold nugget and a mandrake root. Uh, and that should be pretty much it. So once this is done, we'll get that. And then the other thing we should probably go ahead and look up is circle magic. Uh, which is a book. And it does require a whiff of magic. Not too challenging. Um, let's just go to our AE system and kind of deal with this. So we throw that in there. Can we make this guy? We are missing a book and Belladonna. So book is the easy part. Tell that to craft one. And there's Belladonna right here. So not too bad. All right, so with that taken care of, there is our circle magic 
uh, and this will tell us what all we need to do in order to get um, what we want, which is in this case, uh, let's see, binding, charging, this. So we need a tune stone, glowstone dust, redstone, wood ash, quick lime. Uh, nothing uh, terrible, really. And we'll see where we can put it. Um, I honestly don't know uh, where this will be kind of made easily, but we'll find out. So what all is in the chalk again? Is it wood ash? Yep. Okay. Something like that. And we can go ahead and get started. So this requires a 7 and 11 by 11. So I don't think we're going to have room here. Um, and it doesn't really matter where we put this stuff. Um, it just has to be near to this. I think it's like within 14 blocks. Uh, so if we centered it over here, we might be able to. And it's just a big circle. And let's make sure that nothing gets too dark. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. I've done this a couple of times, so I, I'm decently familiar with the. Uh... Oh, we ran out. Uh, with the circles. Uh, so there is one gypsum. We're going to need another one. And then we'll be able to make the chalk. We throw it into the cauldron, and then that will give us our the rest of the stuff. So, um, what all are we going to need for this guy? So we're going to need the, a tombstone. We'll get that in a second. Um, redstone and glowstone. So there's redstone. And then quick lime and wood ash. So we'll just have to get glowstone and then a charge, or, or then a tombstone, which is not terribly difficult, um, but it is a little bit more difficult in this mod pack. So there's the glowstone. Uh, we're not gonna need those. And then the a tombstone. Um, the tombstone is like so. Uh, we need a mana diamond and a lava bucket. So it's not terrible. Uh, the only difference is that it's a mana diamond instead of a standard diamond. Um, but everything else is the same, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we just need to grab a diamond. And we'll throw it into... No, a diamond. And we'll throw it into the uh, mana pool. And that will give us everything we need. Is that baby zombie angry? No, he's just holding something. Alright. Um, so there's everything we need for that. And we should be able to go ahead and make... Uh, and charge this a tombstone. So something like this. You can put that bucket away. Uh, actually, we do need that bucket. Um... So one, two, three, four, five items. Uh, the altar needs to have at least 2,000 power, and it should. Yeah, it has more than enough. Uh, and there is the other gypsum, which we can then use to make the ritual chalk. Um, we come over here, and it was this, this, this. That'll do its thing. And we'll get the golden chalk here in a second. Perfect. Uh, so this just goes in the exact middle. And we just finish our circle. And let's see if this works. So hopefully it's close enough. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. But it's taking up all the items. And it's close enough. So there is a charge to tombstone, which is the Mystic Branch Trophy. Um, not too bad. It's pretty easy. Uh, now the question is, what do we use this for? Is this usable for anything? Cobalite stuff? Uh, 
fume filters, some brews. That's about it. So yeah, not terribly useful. Um, it is used in some rituals and uh, magical stuff, but only if we kind of like do anything with that. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, just something I wanted to do, get out of the way and whatnot. Uh, so uh, with that taken care of, uh, how is everything going with our uh, processing? So we still have to wait on Vinium. Um, so that's fine. Um, let's get the next set of stuff taken care of. Uh, we could probably go ahead and do the ritual for uh, the Great Wood Sapling, uh, which might not be a bad idea. So uh, let's put this trophy away first. And cool. So there, there's not too much more to do. Do uh, something we might want to look at relatively soon is the angel ring. Uh, we do need to make the angel ring. Uh, how bad is it? Iridium. It's gonna take some iridium. Um, I think we can handle that. We can handle the resonant solar. Uh, we've made one of those. I really need to teach the system how to make the solar panels. Uh, glider wings. Those are easy. Um. Most of the stuff is actually doable at this point. Uh, so the hardest thing is this, but that's not even that bad. So we should be able to make the, uh, ooh. Now that's a little bit annoying. Um, we're gonna have to kill the guy guardian. All right, well, that's not too, terrible bad, too terribly bad, but we'll start looking into that relatively soon. Um, so, uh, if we want to make great wood saplings, um, we need all this stuff. So we need 64 of all the primals plus 128 of arbor. Uh, let's make sure we have that. Uh, we have more than enough arbor. Um, there's air, water. So air, earth, water, fire. Everything's good. Um, we'll have the, the liquid poison relatively soon. So we should be able to go ahead and make uh, the sapling. So let's get to it. Uh, jungle sapling in the middle. Let's put these guys um, where I can see them easily. And then six buckets of witch water. And so it's a decently symmetrical infusion, but we should be able to go ahead and get started with it and let's hope for the best. Let's also change our armor just so that we can see things that's going on. Uh, so this is a dangerous infusion. The reason it's dangerous is because it requires a ton of Essentia. However, we made extras of most of the things. We can go get um, more witch water pretty quickly if we need to. Uh, and we have plenty of Essentia in the uh, Essentia Drive. So uh, this should not be an issue to do. Uh, the Silverwood is just as bad. Um, but other than the Ethereal Blooms, which are made from uh, Shimmerleaf, I do believe, uh, it shouldn't be too bad to do. Uh, can I actually scan this, by the way? Nope. Okay. So everything is still... It is still getting arbor. God, that is so much stuff. It's going to take some time. Uh, the problem with infusions is the longer they take, the worse they get. Um, the more unstable they get. So that's the main reason this is such a dangerous infusion. However, uh, once we have this, uh, we should be able to make great wood saplings, uh, get great wood trees, and thus get more saplings uh, pretty readily. readily. Uh, and then once we can get the silverwood saplings, uh, if we are lucky enough to keep getting silverwood saplings, uh, the nice thing about that is silverwoods actually create nodes, and we can use said nodes to power our machines and whatnot. So that's, that's kind of a win-win situation. 
Um, the only thing is we need to get that um, Vitrium, the Taint research, uh, so that we can get the Ethereal Blooms, so that we can make the actual sapling. Um, but in the meantime, if we can get this guy going, which, how close is he? Still a while. So, um, in the meantime, if we can get, uh, let's get some dirt. We're going to put some dirt just, like, right over here. Uh, let's put it over here, actually. And, uh, this is where we're going to grow our great wood trees. Everything's still doing good? Yep, okay. Uh, and... I wouldn't mind some more Ordo. Uh, we are going to need... Plenty more Arbor as well, but we have a good bit of that. Uh, let's see, what's some really good things for Ordo? Uh, lead's not bad. Plastic would be good if it wasn't so difficult. Uh, honestly, lead might be what we go with. Um, so, let's just get like eight blocks of lead. It's going to give us a ton of metallum, but that's okay. Um, cat. On the right side, this is not actually having any issue whatsoever, um, stability wise, uh, even after all this time. So, that's good. Um, that means we have plenty of stabilizers down below, uh, aka the zombie skulls, that this isn't going to cause too much problem. Um, yeah, we're going to get a lot of metallum for this, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, if we look at Ordo, lead, I don't know if it, no, okay, so, uh, what can we use metallum for? Uh, don't know, we can't look at it like that. Um. But I'm sure there's things that we can do with Metallum. Uh, but this is getting close to being done. It should start taking in the items relatively soon. Uh, I don't know if it's going to take the buckets as well as the uh, the witch water, or if it just takes the witch water. We'll find out soon enough. I don't think it takes the buckets, no. Uh, so we're going to have plenty of buckets. There goes the Cinder Pearl. Another bucket. Another bucket. And just these two items left. There goes the Shimmer Leaf. And finally, there we go. We have a Great Wood Sapling. So let's go ahead and scan this. Perfect. Uh, by the way, I said we weren't going to really do much more with Witchery because there's not really much more we need to do. Um, the only thing that's really left that we need to do in that mod uh, is if we want to get the Conjuration Catalyst, we really need to kind of go to the spirit world and finish that up um but that being said it's not that easy um because we have to find wispy cotton and that's not fun because we need to kind of hang out there for long enough um and get the brew of flowing spirits so let's go down here let's go ahead and dump off the excess witch water uh hopefully I don't think we're gonna be able to. Nope, okay. Um, there we go, that works. All right, with that taken care of, uh, let's come over here and let's get our liquid death. Um, don't plan on using that all that much, but at the same time, uh, it will give us uh, what we need in terms of we do this. And that should get everything it needs. Uh, and the whole reason we're doing this is just to get the uh, research. So, uh, what all do we need to do at this point? So we have the silver wood tree. Uh, we get some bone meal. That will not help. Uh, but I believe the watering can does. Uh, because it works on a different mechanic. We gain some warp. Oh, it must have made the liquid death. Um, yep. All right, so we have a bucket of liquid death. It does not have taint. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and throw that back in there. 
Um, so I need to figure out something that has tanked. And if we look at the aspects of magic, we should be able to go back here. And I don't have anything that actually has taint. Um, is there something we can make? Uh, let's see. Forbidden magic likes to work with taint. Uh, the taint thistle. Unfortunately, we can't get like this because we need to get the taint tendril. Um... But unfortunately, we can't really do anything. All right, so Knowledge Fragments is the other option with that. Uh, the problem with that, though, is we don't really have a good way to get Knowledge Fragments other than bees. Um, I do believe. Or can we make... Is this the mod that has the Think Tank? Uh, we need to research... Uh, the artifice, um, brain in a jar. Okay, is that what we were missing? This might be what we need. So let's get some paper. And let's grab our scribing tools. Uh, so we're probably going to have to do a little bit of research on camera, but that's fine. Uh, I try not to do this too often, but uh, every once in a while it's, it's kind of unavoidable. So... Let's see, life. Uh, I know Luckrum is Fames. So, uh, Mortis. And we can connect all of those. And then Examinus, um, we can get through Mortis. And life. So there is Brandon Jar. Um, if we research this, uh, there's what we need okay and then does this have access to more knowledge fragments and get brain sanitation yes but it does all right so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna get this research and then we're also going to work on this research and we're gonna go ahead and do the infusion enchantments uh so tutamend earth to metallum, why not? Um, this can go into fire, and what we can do is potentia, uh, ordo up there, and then fire down here. Um, and then all we need to do is honestly just kind of work with fiery stuff. Um, So we can do this, and then this. Uh, Lux can go there. Um, put them in Earth. The uh, uh, Yeah. So we get Infusion Enchantment. Um, this research, by the way, the Think Tank, uh, this would allow us to go ahead and get uh, access to... Oh, it's um, knowledge fragments, basically. We can make knowledge fragments in, in exchange for books. Uh, so that has Spiritus. Luckrum, I believe, has Fames. Which we can then turn into life. Um, and then Earth can combine those. Uh, and... Let's see, what's something we can do? Let's see, that also has fire. Unfortunately, there's not a really good one for fire and water, uh, as far as I know. Um, but water and Prodicio. And that is like so and we've run out of scraping ink so let's grab uh some coal powder or actually charcoal powder works just as fine and we'll get this kind of finished um so what this is going to give us is the think tank 
which is a really cool uh, multi-block structure that allows us to, um, if we go back to Thalmic Esoterica, uh, the Think Tank is really cool um, because this is a mystical construct. Uh, you have to have all these empty spaces, and it's basically this Think Tank on a bookshelf. And what happens is you feed it books, and it has a chance. It's a relatively low chance, but it is a chance nonetheless to give you access to um, knowledge fragments. So I don't know what exactly got us the research for uh, for the infusion enchantments, by the way. Uh, but I do believe this is the last thing we need. Uh, so that is instrumentum this one's really easy uh it's your classic everything goes to earth um and then you just kind of go however you want like so so fortress armor and then um i believe we can buy these so we need life and mortis uh so there's that And is Kami unlocked? Yes. So that means we have access to Kami, which is uh, Thalmic Tinker. Uh, this is Iker. Uh, the, this is the key to the research. I don't know how bad this research is, and it's not terrible. All right, we can take this to fire. We can take this one to fire. And I believe this can go to fire like so. And now it's just uh, match everything up with fire. Uh, so this is more research than I ever really want to do on camera. Um, but I'm making an exception this time because it's important enough. Uh, so this is going to give us a lot of work. Um, but Acre Cloth. Um, so... We're going to need those shards eventually. Um, I don't know how to get those, to be honest. It says that we have to kill things that are holding them. Hopefully we can find enough. Uh, but this is Iker Cloth, uh, and soon we'll have research uh, access to this research. So Panis is kind of nice to have. It's Bestia. Um, this can go to Humanus, which can go to Bestia. Um, all of these can have modus, which is air. And some really easy ones for air is arbor. Uh, now what does senses have? Air. Alright, well, that's easy enough. Alright, so there is ichor cloth researched. And Ecorium, Acre Cloth Robes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do most of these research off camera. Um, except I believe Ecorium. Uh, we'll get, I'll get most of the other ones off camera. But this will be good enough for now. Um, because what I can do... Uh, so this has... Air, Arbor, and then Terra, 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 Metallum, Metallum, something like that. There we go. So Corium, uh, all of this stuff is kind of nasty to make, um, but then we can get a Corium one caps, and uh, I'll probably do this set. Uh-oh, uh, we have these guys now. Alright, well, there we go. So, um, we have a bunch of stuff now. I'm going to get all this stuff researched. And do we have the robes in the bag? I believe we do. Yes, um, and at some point we'll be able to make this stuff, but Iker itself is kind of nasty to make. Uh, you get eight for a nether star, 
And then this is used for other things like ichor cloth, which is also nasty to make. You need a lot of uh, wand stuff. Um, so eventually we'll be able to get a new wand with that. Uh, now the only thing left is alchemy. We need the ethereal bloom. And I'm not entirely sure how to get that at this point. Um, but we're going to get there. Uh, have we unlocked everything with Eldric? Uh, we need darkness there. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then... So Void Thaumaturge's robes. Alright, so we have... The Eldric Epiphany and the Eldric Revelation. Um... But we're not quite ready to open the eye. Uh, there's still some things we're missing. So uh, most of that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we need the Crimson Rites. That's what we're missing. Uh, so can we make that? Portal to the Nether. Uh, we can't make the Eldritch Eyes yet. Um, is the Crimson Rites something we can research? No. All right, so... I will need to figure out how to get that. Um, but once we do, then we can start working towards getting all of, uh, basically getting deep into Thomcraft and go from there. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, didn't get everything done I wanted to get done, but we have a Great Wood Sapling, which I'm going to try to grow between episodes and try to get uh, some more saplings and all that kind of fun stuff, and um, yeah, I'm going to continue doing the research. Next time, I think we're going to move over to a little bit more tech. We're going to do a little bit more tech than what we did today. Uh, I actually have uh, almost a stack of plutonium, so we're going to start working with that, getting some RGT pellets, uh, and seeing what we can do with that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have a lot of work to do, but we're getting closer, um, which is the important thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!